Hey, what's up, everybody? Eric Kane, VolQuest.com. Welcome into the Craven Wings Extra Innings, and this is a weekend to forget if you're Tennessee baseball. Missouri finishes off the series sweep with a doubleheader sweep on Sunday. Final scores: Game One, seven to four, and Game Two, seven to one. In Game One, all the way back on Friday, Tennessee managed just three hits. In Game Three of the series, the second half of the Twin Bill on Sunday, Tennessee managed just one hit. Starting pitching was atrocious all weekend long. Chase Dolander. Got tagged early for four runs in the first inning on Friday, and it didn't get much better from there. Chase Burns left the one-two meatball right over the plate in the first inning for a two-run bomb, and he got tagged for some early runs as well and didn't have defense behind him really to help him. And then Drew Beam, he made two, in two innings of quick work to begin Sunday's second game, but then a self-inflicting walk and then an error by himself on an airmail throw to first base really got him into trouble in a four-run third inning in game three of the series. Starting pitching was not good whatsoever. Very uncharacteristic like for the University of Tennessee. Defensively, was it three errors in game two, two errors in game one on Sunday? Not great. Offense, almost non-existent for much of the series. Tennessee was able to steal a couple of runs at the end of game two, game one on Sunday. It gets kind of confusing when you talk about a, a double header. When Blake Burke reached trip uh, when Blake Burke reached third base on a triple. And then Zane Denton was able to homer him in there to make the final score 7-4, to four, so that didn't look as bad. But this was a bad weekend for Tennessee, and I'm not sitting here saying that the season's over and it's absolute panic time. This team was never going to be good as the 57-9 and nine team from last year, okay? that's That just doesn't always happen. Two years ago, Tennessee went to Omaha. I'm not saying this team can't go to Omaha, but teams don't go to Omaha for the College World Series every single year. This is a new team. Again, and I'm going to reiterate that, this is a new team. However, there is cause for concern. I mean, this weekend was atrocious. First series sweep by Tennessee, or for Tennessee, since being swept at Arkansas in 2019. First SEC opening series sweep by the hands of Tennessee since that same season at Auburn back in 2019. It's been a long time since all this has happened. Not time to hit the panic button, but Tennessee's got to figure some things out. Routine ground balls. Routine pop-ups in the infield, got to come down with that. Hitting with runners in scoring position was atrocious in game one on Sunday. So Tennessee's got some work to do. I wouldn't panic just yet, but they got to turn some things around. A disastrous nightmare of a weekend in Columbia, Missouri, where the weather might have been the most positive thing when leaving here on a Sunday afternoon. So final score, doubleheader on Sunday, game one, seven to four, game two, seven to one. Tennessee will try to flip the script, come back against Western Carolina on Tuesday, and then open up the home SEC slate against another good team in Texas A&M this weekend. I'm Eric Kane here with the Craven Wings Extra Innings. We'll have more coming up this week on Tennessee Baseball.